I probably should have cleaned her before I left. Nah. No sign of anybody else yet. Of course, I'm always early. And the straggler showed up. Hey everybody, how's it going? On my way to Marystown, actually to Bjorn right now. My, uh, as you can see, I got more company today. There's uh, six bikes today. One, two, three, four, five, seven. I was wrong, seven bikes. And we're heading down to Bow Boy, down around Marystown, because uh, the Bow Boy Heritage Committee are hosting a motorcycle ride to raise money for uh, the Children's Wish Foundation. So that's what we're doing today. We're heading down there. We're gonna. I'm spending the night at my parents. Everybody else is gonna be staying at the hotel, probably getting drunk. But uh, I'll be hanging out with my parents for tonight and uh, get meeting up with everybody tomorrow morning. So anyway, uh, just wanted to check in and say what this video is going to be about. It could be a long one, depending on how I, uh, depending on how I decide to edit all this. But we'll see. Could be two parts yet. Could be just my trip down and the uh, and the ride itself. So anyway, sit back and enjoy the ride because there's going to be uh, lots lots of sea on this one. So I'll see you on the other end.
he does it, oh yes. Oh, there you go. How's that? Anyway, I've been told. Of course, we got the suit and sandwich ones here going on. And, uh, and by the way, my name is Fred Wells. Oh, uh, Fancy, set up your horse. Uh, from there, we'll continue on the fortune. Uh, no, sorry. Uh, so, we we'll talk to you, Boos, inside the park. Uh,
Testicles, testicles. <laughs> Were you saying something about testicles? <laughs> testes, testes. <laughs> See, I just go one. And this going. Oh,
create your own now because I got this for coffee. Yeah. <laughs> Of a lot of animals. They all used to go out in the ocean and fuck. 
and he came up with this wall Bologna. Now, he was only caught today, sliced up, so we call it new steak around here, but you give yourself a good old help in the new steak, and if you really waste it, we'll fry you up some more and more and more. <laughs> She's doing wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> now, tomorrow morning, when you get up, you're going to have a main one that like a garbage truck. <laughs> That's going to be from drinking all night, sex all night, kicking them out, don't matter what it is, this is the cure. It's called the peppermint now. Now, you can suck for two days and he's not going to give a run. You can suck him for so long, you can lay him on the headboard, you can go back the next day, pick him up, suck him again. So when you go back to Alberta, bring yourself a pack of peppermint mash because you've got your mint treat for a year. So have a little suck of something nice and new for them while you're here. It also puts a really great taste on a cock if you're after drink wine. <laughs> now, Newfoundlanders are very... Well, you put that in your pocket, my dear, for later on. A little bit of lint makes that perfect. <laughs> <laughs> now, back years ago, we didn't know what it was like to have liquor. So for some reason, they went down to Jamaica and come back with this dirty, fucking rum and called it screech. Now, most people that drinks it cause it screech, and it makes them screech. You shove a shot of orange juice in that tomorrow morning, and I'll tell you what, that's going to cure your fucking hangover. And then you can put that mint back in your mouth. <laughs> but I'm going to get everybody to count them down now, and on the count of three, we're going to get them to suck back to screech. One, two, three. Take them like a champ. Oh, my Jesus. And this poor fat bastard, he speaks like a fucking pussy that has a bit of my ear. Apparently, he's been in Kathleen's fridge for five. <laughs> so, he'll swim up to you. And the big thing about becoming a Newfoundlander is that you have the log cottage. And you don't have to eat them, but you do have to fucking kiss them. So, you have to fuck them and then kiss them. <laughs> that's why I got a... That's why I got a Newfoundland-sized penis codfish for you, see? <laughs> so, he's going to swim on and he's going to give you a little kiss. Now, I need you to do me a favor. This guy's been in the fridge for a year, so he needs you to give a little tongue. <laughs> He's going to swim up and he's going to say, kiss me, you sexy fucking boyker. <laughs> I think it might have been a female fish. <laughs> There's something leaking at girls for her. Well, this city next, she comes over. <laughs> oh, I don't know. She must be a lesbian fish because she's still coming hard on that. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to perform all of the necessary uh, rituals. I'm going to call upon Jasmine to bring up your uh, certificates. And I'll let you read out what it says, okay? This is to certify that the cold vine of Alberta has consumed a bountiful taste of Newfoundland's finest rum and has performed ceremonial rites. Associated herein, we now bestow the great privilege of naming Nicole a proud honorary Newfoundlander on this sixth day of July 2024. Coffee Dan, if I'm reading that again. I'd like to say it was because.
because she looks so pretty and she wanted to get him out, but us babies get away, you look pretty fucking hot yourself. And then before the night is over, I'd love to have a picture of you from my headboard. I have a view, so I swap them out. So, uh, Jason, uh, Jake's is here tonight, so make sure Jason gets a picture of you too. And he's called the Meandering Newfoundlander. Keep an eye on him on YouTube. But I'm hoping Jason is going to go over and let his wife see that he hangs out with me when he comes to Mary's now. So, we'll get a few nice pictures of you and Jason from his wife. But thank you so much and welcome to Newfoundland. I hope that. Yes, you can. I hope everybody has been hospitable. I'm sure they are, because you're in with Kathleen and Freddie and the offspring, and you can't get no better anyway. So thank you guys and Kathleen, great job again. <laughs> Thank you. I hope I have dual citizenship now. <laughs> I really want to thank, this has been a beautiful trip. This is planned by Jasmine, who is Kelly and Freddie's daughter. I mean, I really appreciate everything you guys have done. You guys are so kind. And this drive today was amazing. And I was saying to Jasmine today, my favorite thing was just watching people come out and waiting for us. I got fucking <laughs> So I appreciate that so much. I think if you could just like give a lot of credit to all the work this family does and all the volunteers, it is amazing. They are so fun. You can bet your ass next time you're in Alberta, you're kissing that old cock. <laughs> enjoyed the video that I uh, put together for uh, myself <laughs> but I yeah I hope you enjoyed it there's it, uh, it was a great weekend the ride out on Friday was nice came out with a crowd of friends and it was nice to uh, reconnect with some the ride itself was uh, quite scenic we did get a little bit of rain at the end but hey it was just a few drops at least in my opinion <laughs> 
I do have to say it was a nice addition heading up around the heritage grounds because it's nice to see the bikes going through all the local communities as well as the ones that are a little further away. And of course after that ride we had that amazing meal which was to die for. I mean 50 bucks for your meal, a ride, which to, with, when, which the money goes to a good cause, you got your dance, live band, I mean bring your own beer. Can't uh, you can't beat that, right? And the meal, it's, the meal was just like I said, to die for. It was, uh, so that's my steak was anyway. I'm pretty sure the looks of things, uh, everybody else's steaks were pretty good too. Because uh, and naturally, I had to include that uh, screeching end ceremony because honestly, in all the years I've seen screeching ends or screech ends. That was by far my favorite. It's the funniest that I've seen, that I've witnessed. Bridget's got a, she's, she's just a natural. Yeah, she's got a heart of gold and she's just naturally funny and genuine. So it was, uh, it was nice to see her up doing her thing and uh, welcoming uh, the two new honorary Newfoundlanders to our club. I'm somebody who don't like being around crowds, can't stand it, hate being in the spotlight or anything like that. And there's two rides every year that really make me feel comfortable. And Bow Boy is one of them, the Smuggler's Cove Run is the other one. And I, I gotta say, I felt so relaxed, so at ease, so at peace down there at the beach uh, Saturday night. Just sitting around the outskirts or the perimeter of the uh, the grounds there and just sitting by the fire chatting with people reconnecting and uh, it was a beautiful time and I can't wait for the next one so I'm not going to talk too much longer because the video is already long enough but I did want to add my words in to say thank you Kathleen for an amazing job and all your volunteers everybody that helped with the meals the preparations the setting up the logistics behind the scenes getting tickets ready, selling tickets. I mean, you guys are flat out, so I really appreciate all the effort and work that you put into it. And it, it really shows on the smiles on the faces of the people attending, because everybody always goes away saying that they had a great time at Bow Boy. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next ride.